fire as a family slept inside. Firefighters say they might have all perished if not for a newborn baby. There is a lesson in this story that could save your life. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at what happened next. You can see smoke billowing from this house on Euclid Street on Detroit's west side. But listen, a sound is missing. There is no smoke alarm going off in a house filled with smoke. I heard some hollering and stuff. And I said, what's wrong? She said, it's a fire, fire. So I came to the top of the steps and I seen smoke. So I walked up there and I couldn't go no farther. The smoke bagged me up. Joseph Harris Jr. lives here with his fiance, her daughter, and her two grandsons, a 13-year-old and a five-day-old baby. In a house with no working smoke alarms, that newborn may have saved their lives. The daughter got up to check on the baby and saw fire in the kitchen. She, the baby, grandma and Joseph got out, but 13-year-old Jeremiah found himself trapped upstairs. A neighbor, 19-year-old Tiffany Oliver, tried to help everyone out of the house, saw him, and called 911. He was so scared. I said, man, jump, man, just jump. He kept saying, I can't, I can't. It was terrifying for this 13 year old, not only because of the height, but because there was no good place to fall. There's this fence right here. A neighbor and family braced his fall. So he is being checked out for some burns and bruises and scrapes and everything else, but everybody should be okay. Tiffany, the baby, Jeremiah and his mom were all treated for smoke inhalation. I'm glad everybody all right, you know. Fire investigators say they are working to determine the cause, but the fire is not suspicious. They say it is a reminder. Make sure your smoke alarms are working. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.